those platform stages you want to avoid that setup. The thing here about Nico, in terms of history as a player, he was used to fighting Diddy Kong way back in Smash 4 quite a few times. Diddy isn't the same as much of his Smash 4 iteration is, but he got used to fighting players like K9 quite a few times, so, actually so many times way back yeah. in the day in Smash 4. So he might be a little bit more accustomed, have a rough idea of it, but it's going to be interesting to see what he's going to do against this new Diddy that Dakpo has brought and raised out for us. Yeah, and this is literally Pokemon Stadium 2, the one stage yep. where Dakpo regularly tweets out, hey, check out this latest infinite. I got somebody <laughs> at my weekly. Right. Let's hope Let's hope uh, he only keeps it out weeklies against me, uh, against other players, because Nico here is at a major. Of course, coming, coming hot off the heels from a number one win back in Canada. And yeah, and playing with heart, right? Beating, yes, yes. Uh, beating Rivers in two sets. Exactly. That is a huge deal. That is a top 20 win. And not only that is a top 20 win, he actually got the run back from Nightmare on Smash Bowl, mm. where he originally lost to Rivers here. So it's going to be interesting to see what he can do here against Dakpo. 120% in the bus jar. He's looking to catch up in the percents. Not only that, able to deal a lot more pressure on the shield, to already have opened up on Dakpo's end with 120% on Nico. This is a very good opening hand to have in this set. We'll see how it plays out from further, though. We got ourselves Nico ready to play in Smash, but Dakpo already answering back with his own uh, up B and getting, getting his way back in. I like the kind of disengagement that happened the moment that the shield came up, right? Dakpo right, right, right. I'm not going to get my confirm to kill quite yet, and instead he finds it just a couple seconds later. This is quite the proving ground for Nico, especially being the number one player here in SoCal. So far, Dak will take first blood, so we're going to see how he can catch up at 80%. I did like how we saw him earlier. The minute he saw the down tilt, he switches it up to shield guard. He doesn't want to get confirmed off of that one. Absolutely right. Dak goes overall looking really solid, gets himself to the, to the ledge, and takes his time getting up from the ledge. Because he sees Nico is in Smash, mm -hmm. doesn't want to deal with any of that nonsense. But Nico still manages to clean up that stock and just immediately finds his opening right after the stock change. Nice, Z drop with the banana. Comes in with the full command grab of the monkey flip. A lot of people actually tend to not really understand too, especially when Shulk has a shield art, you actually can almost Shulk and the shield art will decrease in time, very similar to Arsene. Right, I mean, any damage, yeah, any hit any damage. That, that Shulk takes reduces the shield timer a little bit more and more. All right, into speed art, decrease jump height, so he has to be careful how low he goes. Tries to hit him with the reverse, hit of the air slash, but the jump are in the nick of time. This is still so scary for Nico at 135%. Once again, with the back air <laughs> cleaning up Dakpo's stock like that, Diddy Kong not exactly heavy, especially not against Smash Monado uh, Shulk. Yeah, that's one thing Nico's accustomed to is being off the edge. He knows when he needs to turn things up to the right art at the right time. Using the speed art to kind of move in and out of Dakpo's range. He wants to make sure if he's getting in, he's getting in as safe as possible. Mm -hmm. Especially just to keep up with Diddy Kong's speed in general. Yeah. Nice point for the Nair, especially at the ledge too, it covers a lot of options. Such as neutral get up, jump get up. It's got such a big range. I, I gotta be honest, I love how how trigger happy Dakpo is with his up special. Yeah. So just bringing out these barrels at any moment, because it does so much knockback yes. when he crashes into the ground. And sometimes when you have just this Shulk nairing back and forth over and over again, you just need to just snipe him with something. Right. Right, Nico hitting him in there. Gets the tech. I like how he tech rolls out. He doesn't want to get followed up immediately. Ooh, getting the slapper cut. Not much more past it. Forward air. He's got him up the stage. Smash right. He's going to wait out for Dakpo's options. And like Dakpo takes his time, clings onto the bottom of Stadium to wait out the entirety of the Smash Monado, but still dies. Never mind. Not quite enough. Nico has played this, ladies and gentlemen. He has played this in Smash 4. He is not afraid. He lets Dakpo do what he wants, and he tells him at the end of the day, you're grabbing this ledge with or without my smash heart. That, that was so crazy, because that was like a quarter of a second left on the timer, yeah. <laughs> and Nico knew, apparently, that there was still enough time for him to just toss out that extra forward yeah. air and catch the re-grab on it, because that forward air goes so low below the lip of the stage. Exactly. And that was so good by it. He's so used to doing that, especially against Mario mains, because Mario mains like trying to take their time. Right they now. try to stall out yep. as well. And then he knows like, what I have to go for the right opportunity here. So let's go on to game two. Nico with game one in his hands. I see Texas really back here cheering out for Dakpo. And of course, SoCal in quiet remains, looking to see how far he can take this. As a Californian, I have to say, seeing other people feel the terror of Shulk <laughs> is so satisfying. Because in NorCal, we have Cerrone. In SoCal, you've had to deal with Nico. Oh, yeah. When the game first came out, we were all like, Shulk is a problem. <laughs> and you you guys don't have sh like amazing Shulk makes, apparently, if you're not scared. Yeah. There's quite a few Shulks out there. Double A, of course, name one of them. Tremendo Dude. Tremendo Dude. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I'm not to say that these are the only Shulk mains, but like, California is uniquely oh, terrified yes. we when are, the we game are. came out. 
And Nico has always been consistently as a player, a top player without a top team. Back in Smash 4, Shoko was such a great character. But Dak, now, remember game one, Dakpo was leaning so much on that up special as a yes. way to catch some kills, some ways to get some really big knockback. Already game two, Nico hitting him out of it and getting his own kill. Yeah, he knows I don't have to always use neutral air. I can use back air, which has a sticky hitbox, which will be able to hit Dakpo if he's going to go for those options. He's trying to clap this man across the stage with a corner carry. We'll see what happens. Dakbo finding himself a dash attack, getting himself a launch. Not only that, Nico at 146. This is damage that Diddy Kong could kill at so long as the shield is not available. <laughs> and that's one of the things that Shulk has, right? It hits that he can switch out to Arts here. At the last second, though, he switches to Sweet Art. Yeah, I mean, he, he lost his access to shield. He already did it for one confirm. Mm -hmm. He's going to do it again. And of course, he doesn't want to be in any other art because if he gets a jump art, he will take more knockback because Shulk's property does become very similar to a floaty. It, yeah, it's, it's really intriguing how that all works out, yeah. Okay, I like it. Goes for the just this, this couple buster hits dealing like 30%. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> like a down tilt and an F tilt. Here we go, an opportunity. He says, I don't mind if we're going to the other side, man. I'm covering the ledge all I can. I like I like that Dagbo is willing to make that gamble on that monkey flip from the ledge, right? To just sneak under Nico's feet and make it <laughs> past that Smash Monado. All Diddy's live and die by that side beat. It's, it's like... Understanding that on one level people expect it, but on the other hand, that doesn't mean you don't monkey flip ever, right? Yeah. Like it's still a very good option to get it out of those uh, corner uh, pressure situations. Exactly. All right, Nico trying to play this pretty calm. He knows he has Dakpo at 140. Now pretty much gone. Two stocks into Nico's hands. Such an advantage. Dakpo takes a little bit of time at the angel platform to kind of reconcile himself and see what he should be doing. But I like it. Nico switches R in the second he sees that forward tonight charge. Got a single back air off stage. Dakpo disengages, gets back to center stage, waits for something he can flinch, punish. Gets a little, just a single down tilt and tries to pressure up on the landing right afterwards. Another banana. I know Another all potential eight. catch. He instead, just catches the roll get up with a down tilt. Mm -hmm. So kind of quietly awaits the victory of the hometown heroes here, but Dakpo still not out yet. You he's cannot actually, count out Dakpo. No, like, not at he's all. Such a good player. Just the fact that he's managed to stick with Diddy this long and consistently find success across all of Ultimate, like you know he is on to something that other people are only just now waking up to. Exactly. Being a character specialist pays its dividends. Ooh, nice. that banana placement off that toss! So good to catch the air slash! And it was good too. Nico did not waste his jump. He just went for another air slash. He has jump art. He was barely away from that blast from the barrels. I like to switch the buster, honestly, by Nico because, like, any more damage that the stock takes doesn't even matter. Exactly. But every hit he gets is so it's much so more big. for him. Yes. That is Nico's thought process as well. I've heard him talk to me about it a couple times. Smash art. He's got him on the run. Four throw off the stage. He picks up banana in play. Drops it low. Gets rid of it. I mean, on top of it, he doesn't really need it for his ledge mix up. No. Because he has all. that potential to go ahead and get a grab. No, Smash is gone. Dakbo ready to go with another banana. Decreased jump height allows him to actually hit those neutral airs on that position against Dakbo. Mm -hmm. And not to mention just the lateral movement that speed gives him. Ooh, that was close. Oh, oh no. no. This is so dangerous. Yeah. And he can't even make it back up. There's no way Dakbo wanted that. Not at all, dude. Yeah, you can, you can even see in, in Nico's face that he recognized that last stock was basically an SD. Mm -hmm. And that's really kind of what I love about